How many of you are trying to avoid the Grim Reaper? Taker of you, <laughs> distributor of wrinkles. One of the things I live for on my, it's vain, but I don't care, judge me, it don't matter, list. To go to my kids' school and pick them up and for my kids' friends to say, oh my God, is that your mama? Oh, I would never guess that was your mama. What's up, Fox fam? So, like, you know, I'm sitting here reflecting. You know, my birthday is coming up in six months. And I do this every year around my birthday. Like, don't matter. 24, 25, 26, on up to 30, 31, 32. Every year around my birthday, you know, I get in the mirror, no makeup, fresh out the shower, you know, as I do regularly, but even more so when I'm about to, you know, to, to age up. You know, I, I examine my skin up close. You've been following this channel since day one, or if you know me outside this channel, then you know that skincare, body care, you know, just pretty much I say self-care is extremely important to me. Like, I'm interested, you know, in makeup and stuff like that, you know, but I have way more concern, way more interest in, you know, like just how to take care of it, period. You know, and I think a lot of women think, you know, like, oh, you know, you can get up in the morning, get ready and slap on some makeup and the world sees you and you look great and you look good. But to me, it's like, you know, the two people who, I mean, your kids going to love you regardless. They don't care if you got crow's feet. They don't care if, you know, you weigh 300 pounds versus, you know, I don't know, 150 pounds. They don't care, you know, but as vain as it is. You know, I care, you know, and I know my husband cares, you know, so I feel like the two people who see you first thing in the morning matter the most outside of the outside world. And, you know, me seeing myself and how I feel about myself being number one. And then, of course, how my husband sees me, you know, when he wakes up, because when we wake up, I don't have no makeup on. I got a bonnet on. My hair's not out, you know, um, and it is literally just me outside of makeup, outside of, you know, I don't wear body shapers, you know, but outside of a bra, outside of a waist trainer, outside of, it's just me in my skin, in me and who I am. So I just feel like it's best to put as much effort as possible into how you look when it is just you, you know, and when you get up in the morning and you go take that 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 initial walk to the bathroom you go pee first thing in the morning pretty much everybody out there wash their hands they look at every woman i know you know you wash your hands you look up in the mirror you do a little examination of yourself you know in the morning um and do i like what i see when i go to the bathroom in the mirror in the morning yes you know can i yes i say that with all honesty like sometimes i even turn to the side and do a little uh, uh, oh girl look at you first thing in the morning kind of thing like i give myself a little victory dance every morning because i like what i see so and i started thinking about that you know because i talk to women you know at the gas station at walmart um it may be a mom it may be a mom whose kids are grown and gone you know um a woman that's looking to get married a woman that is that is married that may have be having problems in marriage because it seems like i'm that person that everybody comes to talk to I'll be in Walmart just pushing my cart and mind my own little business. And then I've heard somebody's life story or their life problems within 30, 45 minutes. And I'm trying to give them some help and some details and tips from my life and hope that it will, you know, help them. So I decided to do this video because one of the things I get asked about a lot, you know, as a combination is body care and skincare. So it's like with my gym workout videos. Um, you know, my, cause I'm, I'm literally the queen of, uh, post workout selfies, you know, uh, pre workout selfies. Sometimes I don't feel like working out. I gotta give myself a little boost. Like, look, we going to the gym to maintain. I'm gonna need you to get your mind right and put these leggings on so we can go. Or it might be, we done bust our ass in the gym for this past hour and 45 minutes, two hours. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> give myself a little victory run in the mirror and see what, you know, what's new what it's looking like today you know just to boost myself up um but i want to come to you guys today and give you tips 
and uh, pretty much is a product layout of the things that I currently use on my entire body because I like you know people say skincare and they talk about their face or their body and to me they're they're literally all connected there's no line of separation anywhere your feet your your face like all that stuff you know is connected and if you're taking care of one thing then you gotta take I mean you should take care of all of it because it all works together to make you feel and look fabulous because how you feel on the inside you know it comes to the outside and how you look on the outside it translates to the inside so in today's video I'm coming to give you guys some some tips and some products that I currently use in my day-to-day -day lineup like these are my go-to's my everyday my best friends on the shelf my best friends in my medicine closet on my bathroom counter um, of things that actually work for me and things I have been using for years like I tell everybody and if you're not new to this channel you with me since day one high five boo I appreciate it um, or if you know me outside this channel then you know that I tell everybody start maintaining your looks at 21 22 you know once you're old enough to drink start thinking about anti-aging don't wait for the grim reaper to come knock on your door to snatch your youth and hand you out some wrinkles because that's not what you want you don't want to wake up and go in the bathroom look in the mirror and instead of doing your little victory dance you're like what the hell is that how did that get there that, that ain't what you want <laughs> one of the most important things I can tell you is do not skip your facial cleansing routine you know in the morning um, I'm a mom myself my youngest is two years old my oldest is 13 two of them go to school so it's like it's very easy to skip that initial morning time skin cleansing routine at, at, at. you don't want to do that because skipping your um, cleanses, your, your cleansing routine in the morning can be one of the things that helps to age your skin. I'm super guilty of, you know, trying to get my kids to school on time, splash a little water on my face, just to, to wash off the, the residue overnight, you know, mask or whatever I got on my face and run up to the carpool line and drop them off. So, and then you come back home, you get busy, you get wrapped up in whatever it is you're doing and next thing you know, you skipped your morning routine. Don't do that. Make time for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I have two different systems that I use in the AM and the PM. I mean, what a surprise. I got to be all extra, right? So I'm going to walk you through the products for each. Now, okay, when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is I grab this. I grab the Burt's Bees Deep Pore Scrub with Peach and Willow Bark. I squirt a little bit into my hand. Um wet my finger a little wet my hand a little bit and I actually you know work it into my face with my fingertips in a circular motion um probably for about one to three minutes I'll make sure I catch my neck and everywhere and then I rinse it off I pat my face dry and then I follow that with the origins modern friction cleansing oil cleansing oil is one thing that's really good for a mature skin I have oily skin I know a lot of people think that if you have um, oil, I see my skin is probably about 80% oily that you know cleansing oil ain't for you it's not good because you know why would I have oily skin and put cleansing oil on my face like that doesn't make any sense no for mature skin that tends to be a little bit drier you know than you were you know in your earlier 20s mid 20s cleansing oil kind of helps to give something back to your face you know in the morning at night you apply you know all your um your moisturizers and all that but cleansing oil kind of helps to get rid of that get rid of the sebum that your 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 skin has produced overnight without over drying um so i love using this you know in the morning you rub it between your, your um in the palm of your hand you rub it onto your face it's got a warming sensation so i apply i'm almost running out as you can see um and this is my first bottle of this and i'm going to be repurchasing because like i got i mean if it something that i brought once something that i purchased once and i'm buying it again then it must have showed me something great for me to go back spend more money and this was this was i think about 34 bucks 38 bucks i got this from the px on post um but it has um 
it transforms into a cleansing milk so it's oil at first it transforms into a cleansing milk it has white and purple rice once i wet my fingertips and work this into my face i take my silicone bristleless facial cleanser um and i got this one from walmart for about 25 bucks but it has a button here and it has different settings and i really like this setting because it vibrates and moves all at the same time and I work this around on my face um, and for probably for about three to five minutes because it feels really good and then especially in the morning um, and then I rinse my face once I rinse my face this is the time that I use the um, tea time green tea toner this is age defying green tea is one thing you should definitely add if you're a tea drinker you can add that into it because I am we're gonna get to that in a minute but you can add that into your morning or evening routine. You can drink decaffeinated or caffeinated tea. Um, but this is in the form of an astringent. And what this does is it's infused with a powerhouse of antioxidants. Your best friend for mature skin. Um, tea time, green tea face toner soothes and cleanses skin in a single sweep. Green tea extract helps skin feel calm while improving the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles this is a part of the earth to skin line you can get this from walmart take you know i like the big cotton balls i don't like to feel like i'm scrubbing my face with the tiny ones i like the the oversized cotton balls put some of this on there i don't really scrub my face i kind of just you know go over it lightly and kind of like dab and let my skin soak up the goodness um and then i'll fan my face for a little and then I will go in with my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Now, uh, eye creams and eye serums, I prefer an eye serum because anytime you see serum, just know when you get to the register, it's going to cost you more, but it's definitely worth it. Serums are more straight to the point. They don't have a lot of things mixed into them. They're more, they're more potent. Um, they're made to work faster. They penetrate the skin faster. Eye creams and serums are definitely products that are overlooked. Um, people think that they can just use, you know, on their face and work it into your eye area. But eye creams and eye serums are thicker, formulated with more active ingredients. And what they're made to do is get, you know, pretty much the same thing as uh, serums and face creams do for your face. They help to get rid of, you know, eliminate or uh, prevent crow's feet and the little tiny lines down around your eyes. Um, this one comes in a pump. I have used this one now for about two years. I move on to um, the uh, three-part Harmony uh, Origins Tri-Phase Essence Lotion. So after I've done all that, I go in with the Origins Essence Lotion and apply this. Like I said, this is in the AM. Um, I love this. This is made with, it's made with Tzidi. Yeah, Tzidi Lily and Bulb. Um, it reawakens skin youthfulness, repairs dehydration, and restores luminosity. Uh, so once I apply the Essence Lotion, we almost done. Hang with, hang with me. Then I go in with the Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum. I get this from Walmart. Um, hyaluronic Acid is made by Neutrogena. I have used this product for more than two years. Um, but Hyaluronic Acid... Is something that your body makes you know plenty of when you are in your 20s and I say like probably your early 30s and then but as you age from I mean from 18 19 20 on up it starts to diminish um, so it's something that you need to put back into your face because your skin needs it it loves it it thrives on it it helps you maintain moisture um, so like I said, you know, with mature skin, it's all about what you're talking about your face or your body is all about maintaining moisture. Once I feel like that has dried, I go in with my sunscreen. Now, if I am not leaving the house that day, if I plan to be inside all day, I might venture into the backyard with the boys. If I'm not going to go into direct sunlight for an extended period of time, I apply Ambi. Or if I know I'm going to be running errands, I'm going to be out in the sun for a while, I'm going to the grocery store, doctor's appointments with the kids, you know what I'm saying, I make a little little trip by Target, then I apply, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 all the guns, I bring out, you know, the heavy artillery, and I apply the 8 Shield uh, Face by Neutrogena, it's 110 SPF, 
Um, it shields skin six layers deep for skin aging UVA rays. Now, I know a lot of y'all thinking, oh, I applied all this product. I don't need to, you know, apply anything else. Well, let me tell you. The sun is not your best friend, boo-boo. You put all this in your face, and guess what? You go outside, you're outside for three seconds. The sun literally just sucks it right off your face. Everything that you just spent the last 20 minutes, 15 minutes, applying, working, rubbing in, massaging, the sun just sucks it right off your face when you go out. The sunscreen keeps all of that intact, and it keeps the sun from penetrating through all the stuff that you, I mean, all these products are great, yes, but they don't, they don't, I mean, they can't stand up alone to the sun. I mean, 110 SPF is what you want. If I have worn makeup that day, then I use a makeup wipe remover. That's my very first step into cleansing my skin. Now today, just to keep it 100 with you guys, I found um, these makeup wipes and I didn't need any, but I saw that they were infused with collagen. So I was like, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Like I've never seen makeup wipes that are infused with collagen. Regardless, I use makeup wipes to remove, you know, makeup off my face. Like, even if it's just remove my makeup, we good. But if it does all that it's saying, it's even better. Facial cleanser that is uh, moisturizing. And honey, we all know is a natural humectant. It draws in moisture. Um, and like I said, moisture is one of the things that you, you really need for mature skin. But you want to pretty much you want to be able to clean your skin without dehydrating it. So, and then well, honey, I mean, you definitely can't go wrong. It has natural enzymes and vitamins. It helps to rejuvenate skin, it repairs cellular damage. And also, if you have like post acne marks, um, like if you're like me, you still get, you know, a breakout here and there, that it helps to actually get rid of like post acne marks. So, after I clean it, then I go to um, Kills Ultra Facial Oil Free Toner. I love this stuff. Um, it's hydrating formula to balance and freshen skin for normal to oily skin types when i use this like it actually feels like i put a moisturizing serum onto my face um two products that are prescription strength this kind of opens up the door for like a second part of this message so i'm going to give you guys like a prescription route and a non-prescription route so both i use both of these um at night they are both prescription um you have you have to have a prescription to get them um so the first one so after i've toned my face i go in with the um tazerac or tazeratine is a 0.1 percent cream um it's 30 grams you apply this to your face and you it can do an am and a pm but i only do it at night um because it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun um but what this does is this is like you know I can't live without it. I got to have it. Um, Cause what this does is it helps to clean your pores. It also helps to fight wrinkles and photo aging um, issues. And it helps to um, balance out your complexion on your face. So it gets rid of hyperpigmentation. So this is like my, my for real, for real best friend right here. It helps acne by slowing down skin cell overgrowth. Also, it decreases skin cell inflammation. Um, it is effective at fighting fine lines and wrinkles. So, like, if you're a person that's like, you know, well, you know, I can't use, you know, two things, you know, because sometimes things clash against one another. This is like the dream team right here. Um, and it also helps to tighten your pores and make them smaller. So that's one of the ways that it helps to fight acne. Um, and again, I'm going to put the details below, but it's called Tazerac Cream. Tazeratine, you have to have a prescription to get this. It comes in different strengths. It comes in 0.5. But if you are wanting it just for acne purposes, 0.5 will help you with that. But if you're trying to fight wrinkles and aging signs as well as acne, or if you're wanting it just for the, the anti-aging uh, benefits from it, then you need the 0.1%. Apply the um the tazerac or tazertine cream then i go in with the hydroquinone now what i'm about to tell you i thought a lot more people knew about it um but after my conversations with just different people about skincare and stuff like that i have realized that a lot of people don't know this 
somebody tell you something that's probably going to help you stop wasting your money or stop buying just pretty much the same products over and over and over again and you use that money to go to the doctor and get a prescription but you know ambi me and ambi go back to that's like my first my first skin cream um but and it's always worked for me you know but you know sometimes you get a breakout um especially when i was going through the mask you get hyperpigmentation that just seems like it won't budge it done made a permanent spot on your face. It done put up a mailbox. Then to fill out a change of address form. It is there, boo. It ain't going nowhere. Those are spots you need, like, the big guns for. And the main ingredient, or the ingredient, the only ingredient, that helps to lighten um, dark spots is hydroquinone. I talked about this so much in so many videos. But the highest strength, listen to me now. The highest strength you can get on the shelf is 2%. So anything that you see that says, I think they came out with something made by um, Dermalogica, I think it is, that is 3% or 2.5%, but that is like the highest. And I'm not sure about that. But for the most part, everything carries 2% hydroquinone that claims to you know, diminish the signs of post-acne marks and all that um it's just a different formulation you know it's different they've taken hydroquinone basically two percent and they have combined other things with it you know in their own formulation to help get rid of post acne marks but you can go to the doctor and get a higher strength hydroquinone they make it i think all the way up to ten percent i have the highest i've ever tried has been six percent and normally i use a four percent also again something you need a prescription for so i would recommend four percent six percent is a little it's a little you know irritable to your face you know what i'm saying like that's a rough road and the thing about it is i hate to start out with like the highest percentage because you gotta think when you get like in your 50s and 60s you know you gotta start out you gotta like gradually build yourself up you know what i'm saying like you gotta build your tolerance up to stuff you get in your 50s 60s and 70s like what you gonna use then if you start out with the the high, the high, you be a high roller now, what you going to, you know, use then? Because your face going to be used to everything. I'm sure they'll come out with new stuff, but you never know. I would do 4%. So this is 4%. This is what I have used. I've been using 4% hydroquinone since my 13-year-old was not even here yet. So I've been using it for a long time. Um, But so it's a higher strength of, you can see where it says skin bleaching cream. And this is why I apply last at night. Now, so together, um, let's see. Okay, the Tazerite cream is, I think it's like 20 bucks. That's my co-payment with my insurance. Um, but the hydroquinone, guys, the insurance does not cover it, of course, because it's, you know, it doesn't, um, it's not like a necessary prescription, you know. So, um without insurance is like i think it's like 150 dollars for a tube that's like this size this i mean this is the box that it, it comes in this is the last um box that i got and as you can see it looks brand new i just got it probably about a week or two ago um and i try to keep a tube of it um but now this is a tip you can go to walgreens and become a part of their um annual customers renewing membership club i'll put a little cream on it and then like within a week it, i say two at the most depending on how bad it is it's completely gone you can't even tell where it was i know a lot of people like to use like um creams and serums and stuff like that or you hear like olive talking you know like or different brands neutrogena all of them um talking about retinol right so and this is like another thing that you, you know, that a lot of people are going to go wild once they learn. So retinol, I'm going to tell you this before I tell you the, the cheat to this because um, it's important. So, okay. So retinoids. Okay. So retinoids, think about like a pie, like the, the category is pie, you know, and so you can have like different types of you know retinoids or retinols that fall into you know that category so you have like apple pies and keep you know key lime pies and all that so on the shelf you have retinol right so it may say like overlay you know with retinol blah 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 
and and it's like mostly the mature products will say retinol and it's pretty much what you can get over the counter on the on the shelf or whatever so it's good for fighting the signs of aging um but you're not gonna get like maximum benefits it's one of the things like slow and st like slow and steady wins the race kind of thing you're gonna see um benefits from using it but it's gonna take you like eight to ten months before you start even seeing like the slightest little bit of um of benefits from using a retinol now you know that's like apple pie right then you got like let's say sweet potato pie which is like your stuff like the Tazerac um, and other creams that fall into, you know, this category. It's like, it's still pie, but it's like sweet potato pie. It's a different kind of pie. It's a Retin-A. So with retinols, the reason why it takes so long is because you put it onto your skin. Your body has to um, to change that into to retinoic acid. Um, and that takes, you know, you put it into your face, your body having to, to roll it over on cellular, like to transform it on a cellular level and then reap the benefits from that. That's one reason why retinols take so long. Okay, so when you take, so that's things like on the shelf, like Olivelay, Neutrogena, you know, fights the signs of aging, things you can go to Walmart or whatever and buy off the shelf, things you don't need a prescription to get. Then you have, you know, the more amped up products like the Tazerac and there's several others. Um, that fall into this category and they are uh, they come as a retin-a so they're made in a laboratory when you put it onto your face it's already ready to go your body doesn't have to have to transform it into anything you put it onto your face you get a immediate benefit so things like that take about i say six weeks for most could take eight to ten weeks for some but you see a dramatically faster improvement um so that's like you know um you know walking you know like when you're trying to like lose cal like lose weight or burn calories like that's like the, the difference between to me walking and and running you're gonna see a way bigger result from running you know than you're gonna see from walking so because you're, you're you're moving faster burn more calories so it's like a it's stronger so when it comes in this in this tube you put onto your face like i said your body sees you know uh an improvement pretty much it took me i said i want to say like a week before I start seeing an improvement as far as you know with this um so but like I said you need a prescription for this so it would be best you know if you can obtain a prescription um especially if you know you're trying to fight acne and the signs of aging like I said this is a problem you definitely want to have um in your medicine cabinet but say for instance you know you can't you can't get a prescription you can't get to the dermatologist you need something right right now you watch this video and you like you know I'm, ha I'm suffering from acne, adult acne, um, and I'm trying to fight the signs of aging. There are things that you can go and purchase off the shelf um, and that, that's not very expensive, um, probably for about 40 bucks. So, and all you need is two things. All you need is a really good vitamin C serum. Um, I've fallen in love with the Advanced MD Vitamin C. Um, it's a serum, it improves skin tone and diminishes the look of wrinkles. Um, vitamin c um it keeps your skin tight it helps to stimulate the production of collagen um it helps your your skin to maintain moisture it does a lot you know for your skin um you can go to like ulta um mad hippie is also a good brand that i have used um this is my third bottle of this if i can't get this then i'll get mad hippie um but this bottle was like 20 or 22 bucks I actually found the last bottle I got from, I want to say TJ Maxx or Marshalls, like in their their little section over there. But it's clear. I love this one because it's more like a gel versus a liquid. Um, it's a little thicker than the Mad Hippie and the bottle's a tiny bit bigger. They are about the same price. So, um, say for instance, if I can't, you know, get these two products. You know, I'm waiting for a doctor to fill my prescription. I'm waiting to get by Walgreens to get it. I'm waiting for an appointment or whatever. Then I make sure I keep a bottle of this. And also sometimes, you know, in the morning, um, and my skin's looking a little dull, I will go ahead and apply the vitamin C serum because like I said, I use these two products at night. Um, so this is kind of like a thing where my skin leaves a little pick me up, I'll use it. Um, I like to keep a bottle of it handy. Um, but you can use it in the a.m. or the p.m. Um, and it fights the signs of aging and wrinkles and all that. 
okay so now you're probably like well, what about like the adult acne side of it like how can i you know if i use that and that's taking care of the wrinkles and the aging aspect of things how do i you know nip these these bumps and pimples and stuff you know in the mud okay so i love this product this is different gel you get this from walmart you can get this from walgreens this larger tube is about 20 or 26 bucks you can get a smaller tube for about 12 bucks um it's about this size and it will last you um probably for about two three weeks or so but you wash your face and scrub and all that and then you apply the different gel then you apply the you wait about five or ten minutes then you apply the vitamin c now different gel it is a retinoid it's classified as retinoid it's like a double player pretty much um but it's main ingredient that works is called adapalene so it's zero zero point one percent of that and the purpose of this alone is for acne treatment it also helps to clear up post acne marks so you also get that in this and then it also helps to tighten the skin okay so now i've told you guys um am and pm routine um now i'm gonna go to my two to three times a week kind of treatment this is like when i'm you know when i feel all luxurious you know what i'm saying um or my skin my pores seem to be getting like enlarged i guess with sweating uh especially in the summertime when it's hot so i like to steam my face two or three times a week i used to do it before just like sporadically but since the mass acne that's one thing i have really tried to stick to my guns with uh with steaming my face because it makes a tremendous difference um especially with like applying your product and stuff because when you open up your pores it allows you know um any product that you're using to travel in deeper and work just that much better okay so i just just purchased this steamer and the one that i had before this um i got it from like walgreens and i actually passed that one down to my daughter um because she has started to steam her face also when she was running track and um but now that she, you know she likes to work out also her face was starting to break out so i gave her that one um and i purchased this one because this is a hair steamer as well as um a facial steamer um and the the hair steamer part has a, this comes off i'm gonna show you guys it pops off and then the bonnet is it gonna come off okay so and then you just put it's a hose connection with a bonnet like a bonnet hair dryer like attachment and you can sit under and steam your hair which i have noticed tremendous benefits if you haven't caught that video make sure you go to house of fox and watch you know the video where i finally steamed my hair amazing results i actually show you guys me opening the box and me using the steamer it's the same thing you know you steam your face the pores in your face open up you steam your the follicles on your scalp and they open up a lot of products to penetrate better same thing with your face um but it's really simple i know it looks all high tech but you add the water here and then it has two settings on it so you have the one here for the steam and you know turn it off and on it's not plugged up right now and then when you know when you want to use it for the face steamer then it has a setting on here for ozone um and it, what it does is it applies a more filtration process but you can use a steamer without it for your face um but just as like an added benefit here for the ozone now for the steamer um you can buy this separate you can you can get them together um i think together they were close to 80 bucks so if you have natural hair um or if you're thinking about possibly steaming your starting to steam your hair like i said tremendous benefits it makes your washing goes longer but it's worth it steam your um and you get the facial steamer also to go with it so two or three times a week i steam my face um 15 to 20 minutes so i wash my face um i scrub first exfoliate then wash my face then pat it dry steam um for about 15 minutes and then i apply uh, my mask and then once it's applied i may sit on the steamer for another three to five minutes so that's 20 minutes and then i cut the steamer off so recently um, I've always used a um, a black mud mask, always. The one before this was Origins. The one before this, I think, was Dermalogica. So I'm a big, big fan of black uh, masks. So with this one, 
I just started recently using this one, but the reason why I decided to add it into, um, well, both of these into this video is because I have noticed tremendous benefits. Only we're using these about three or four times. Um, the first one I want to talk about is uh, they're both by Peter Thomas Roth. I've used their line before. Great, great stuff. The first one is the Irish Moor Mud. This has been out for a while, but I guess I'm late to the game with this one because I'm really just now finding this one and trying this one out. Um, it's a purifying, refining, decongesting, hydrating mass. Again, hydrating. Decongesting is going to clean out your pores and make your pores smaller. If you have gunk and stuff in there, you can't, your pores are going to be enlarged, like, because it's fat, which is stuff. So, um, hydrating mass, nutrient and mineral rich, Irish Moor Mud helps purify and refine the look of skin. Um, Hajiki seaweed hydrates, volcanic ash revitalizes, activated charcoal draws out toxins and impurities, minimizes the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles for all skin types. This stuff is amazing. It was 51 bucks from the PX, but worth every single last penny. Um, so I have a picture of myself steaming with this one. I'm going to put this in this video. And I've also used this one about three times. Pumpkin enzyme mask, three in one intensive skin resurfacer mask, exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme, peels with alpha hydroxy acid, polishes with aluminum oxide, helps reveal skin that looks smoother, younger, radiant, and revitalized. Um, so with this one, you don't, you can steam your face, but it's not a mask. So basically you wash your face and all that, you um, put some in your hand, you wet your, you plow your face and you wet your fingertips with warm water and you work in circular motions. You leave it on for about seven minutes. I think I did 10 minutes and then I rinse it off. This one is one to two times per week. And this one is one to two to three times per week or as often as you want to, um, pretty much. So now, um, I know as well, a lot of people, they will take their fingers and dip them into the jar. Um, but just know when you do that, you are contaminating the jar. You, and if you wash your hands, you have like a crevice or something on your fingernail, it gets in there. The best way is to take like a plastic spoon or knife or fork even, um, not metal. So it has to be plastic and scoop some out or a spatula, a spatula, um, like the, uh, mass spatulas and apply it, you know, scoop it into, into the jar, put that into your hand. And they'll use you know apply that to your face you don't want to contaminate your products in your jar because they cost entirely too much um you want them to stay at full strength and not get contaminated with bacteria because then they won't be as potent and they won't work as good um so yes i steam my face at a minimum once per week i try to do two three times a week no more than 20 minutes don't do two or three days together do like monday wednesday friday um and spread it out all that being said i have one item that you should not use um unless you're having like a intense a intense breakout witch hazel a lot of people swear by witch hazel you know they love it um this one has um lavender in it you have it with you know um aloe and all that but witch hazel can actually dry out your skin if you're younger, it may be a great uh, toner for you. But, you know, my women of mature age, like myself, you know, with, you know, trying to preserve our skin, witch hazel is something that you, it's like a last resort kind of thing. Unless you have like a massive breakout, do not use it. It can actually work against you and it can dry your skin out. This video is directed more so to my girls, you know, that's women of a certain age, you know, 40 plus, cause yes, your girl will be 40 in October. But as I say, 40 where, 40 where, nowhere. Cause people may say that it's vain or whatever, but I just feel like nobody wants to, we're all gonna age, it's inevitable, you know what I'm saying? But nobody wants to just pretty much be 35 and hit a brick wall because you're not taking care of yourself. So, I mean, like wigs, weaves, eyelashes, or whatever. Like I said, you have to take care of the you, the natural you, without all that stuff. So, I hope this video was informative. I hope the tips that I gave you guys were 
um, or informative. I hope that they were useful. I hope that you learned something from this video. If you like the content that you saw in this video, comment below. Also, you know, let me know what you use in your anti-aging process. Let me know a routine that you use or a product you use that I can try. Maybe pass it on to someone else. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, become a part of the Fox fam um, and join in the conversation because I love to pass the information along to you guys and, you know, to what I already know. And I like to exchange information. So become a part of the Fox fam. Go ahead and subscribe below. Don't forget to click the bell so you know when I release new videos. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.